Hey guys, Smith City here for Smith City Product Reviews. Well, I woke up this morning to a very long-winded comment on my muscle mat video from um, a YouTube user, Trading Web. Now, this isn't going to be an attack on him. Um, it's just a bit more of a perspective of how I initially read his message and then sort of some follow-up back and forth chats I had with this particular person. And so, um, obviously I did get the muscle mat for free, but under no circumstances, if I align with a product or they align with me or they come to me to say, do you want to review something, um, whether it be free or paid, which I have not been paid for a single review I've done yet, um, other, other than, you know, being gifted certain things, is that regardless of that, I would not enter into a discussion of reviewing something unless I could give my own honest opinion on what I thought. Like I'll never give a biased, um, a biased review on anything. And you know, if someone was to come to me in my inbox and say, "This is the product. We want you to review it, and we want you to say A, B, C, and D," I would say I don't want to review your product or service because at the end of the day, um, I, I feel like that is misleading to people. Um, and then on the flip side of that, I'll put his, I'll put, I'll put, um, like s some screenshots of the comments that he said, not to, or, or her, or she said, cause I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, um, or a man or, or a woman. So, um, I'll put that up there here. So after you've read all that, um, on the same token of maybe me doing a rushed quick review because I possibly don't have a lot of time to, to, to edit. Um, and also in that period of time, uh, when I created that video, there was a lot of negative people, uh, like a lot of negative, um, comments and noise around my channel at that particular time from, from people that knew me and didn't know me saying that my reviews were too long winded. Um, and that I needed to shorten them. Um, and so, you know, there was, there's sort of been some playing around with that with some shorter reviews and some longer reviews. And that just so happened to be one of my sort of shorter reviews. Um, sure, I probably could look at um, doing like a, a re review of that in a different capacity where I like trial it over a period of time and cut different uh, videos together, which I'm more than happy to do. But what's fascinating is, so I read his messages and, or her messages, and like it initially, I initially like took that on, like I, I, I latched onto that and be like, this person doesn't know me and it feels like they're attacking me. Um, and then I sort of stepped away from that and I tried to sort of look at what was written in a different manner and sort of remove myself away from the, the message that this person was saying to me. And, um, you know, you only need to look at my, um, my juicy IPA that I did by Riverside, um, brewing company where I, I did not like it. Now within that review, I also said that don't take my word for it and not get it because I also believe, especially with beer reviews, I also believe that to give beers a second go or a third go because I think that that was a very small brewery um, I couldn't even find them on Instagram so that kind of probably tells you that it's a very small brewery and it may not be but that's what my impressions were and so um, from batch to batch especially from a like a, a brewery that's quite small is their batches might be slightly different um, or they might have a bad batch or they might have something that goes wrong in the brewing process. And so for me to just like go, that's a shit experience. No one should get it and like start going on that negative attack is I'm actually creating a scenario where people like hanging on my every word to form their own opinion. And I've never been about that. I'll never be about that. Um, and so I just wanted to sort of jump on and share my thoughts with this and I don't really look at, I'm getting better at it. I'm not, I don't really look at any 
person that comes at me with a negative comment now or a perceived negative comment um, because it's all based on how I read it in what tone of voice and so if I choose to feel attacked then when I'm reading that in an attacked tone that is exactly what I'm going to feel I'm going to feel attacked now if I create some space away from where my thoughts are reading it and go this is just a very um, neutral space where someone's just sharing what they think that is no different to me reviewing a particular thing and saying what I think and so look I, I absolutely appreciate the fact that that person took the time to write a big lengthy comment uh, we've had a bit of back and forth within that and um, yeah I, I do appreciate um, a comment like that now whereas probably in the past if I had received it um, I would have really taken it as a personal attack. I then maybe would have thought about shutting down my page um, and, and just cancelling this whole thing altogether and probably putting time and effort elsewhere. But at the end of the day, I like doing reviews now. I've settled into them quite well. Sure, at some point in time, they probably will look a little bit more polished and a little bit better than what they currently are. But in terms of the time and the amount of effort I want to put into these um, reviews, um, just isn't at a point in my life where I want to be spending some extra time and you only need to look at some of my previous videos where I did some heavy editing um, you know with what I've got in terms of my computer setup uh, probably not now with my MacBook I probably could get some programs to really like enhance my videos but before I had that which was a business business expense I had um, you know an old 15 or not 15 12 year old um, HP computer that's quite slow with an editing program on there that was quite slow and I always had issues with uploading stuff so I'd have to upload from my phone to the computer then the computer would take like three hours for the video to jump onto the editing program and then it would take me a certain amount of time to edit the video and then it would also take me like two three hours for it to upload to YouTube so you can see how I, why I don't do that right at this point in time I don't have enough time for my business or my own stuff that I like to do um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And so I just thought I'd jump on, share that. Um, thank you, Trading Web, whoever you are, uh, man, woman, or beast. Uh, absolutely appreciate the fact that you took the time to even write a comment, um, let alone the, like the length of comment that you wrote and then also the follow-up messages from me responding. So, um, yeah, really, really 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 appreciate it so that's just a bit of uh, perspective on a Monday and um, yeah I'll continue to do my thing the way I'm currently doing it and at some point I will look to change things but also on the flip side of that and I'll leave you with this trading web is that um, yeah very early on I edited videos quite hard um, more, more so than what I do now I don't really do any editing um, and I was told that you know my reviews um you know were were fake or they were too heavily edited to the point where like they couldn't be taken as serious or they couldn't be taken as like a real thing um and that like you know there was things around me doing particular stuff where I was editing things where I was editing things out and making it look not real and so with anything that I do um there's always going to be opinions whether it be positive, negative, or neutral in the middle. And um, I'll just do my thing how I see fit and where I see fit. If I think that I need to start editing things again when my time opens up a little bit, well, then I'll do that. If not, I'll just keep things how they are and know that I'll probably receive plenty more of these messages. And that's probably the cool thing here is obviously I've had some awareness around my response to this message. So therefore, I'll be better equipped when I receive more of it in the future. So... Thank you, Trading Web, and um, yeah, hopefully you stay on my channel and um, see any other reviews that I do. Cheers.